So today's session is going to be about whiteboard functionality in button. So this whiteboard functionality becomes very important feature in a time where most of the uh, teachings are happening online where uh, teachers or instructors they connect with students online and they try to explain about different sub subjects or different content. So Big Blue Button has got this functionality uh, by default and uh, this is what we are going to see that how this functionality can be enabled or can be accessed. Um, so for that I will be logging as a instructor here. So this is the uh, green light interface which we are using from where we are going to launch the meeting. So by default, uh, a home room will be selected where you can start the meeting. Once the meeting is started, it will give you the option to join the meeting using a microphone or uh, in the speaker mode. So just to avoid the echo with this session, I'll log in or I'll select the listen mode only. Only person in this conference. So once you have logged in and you know uh, this is the content section where all your content will be shown, any presentation or anything as such. Uh, you can upload a presentation through uh, this plus button which you see at the bottom. Uh, you can click on upload a presentation and there it gives you the option to drag and drop the file, be it PPT or PDF. Those files can be dropped over here and uh, uh, once you have uploaded, it will start appearing over here in this middle section. So if you notice here, there are uh, two toolbars, I can say, uh, which appears. One is at the bottom of the presentation which you have uploaded and another one is on, at the right side. So this gives you the bottom toolbar, gives you the option to uh, control the view part of your uh, presentation. So suppose if you want to zoom in in the layout which uh, is appearing so you can zoom in or you can if you want to expand it you can just fit to it and uh, this gives you a better view about if you are trying to upload an A4 size PDF. So at the same time it has the option so you, you can pan in or pan, pan out uh, zoom in and zoom out so that is also possible so like I am just scrolling down and scrolling up so the it automatically works as a zoom in and zoom out uh, functionality at the same time you have got the controls available here so if you want to don't want to use the mouse scroll button and zoom in and zoom out you can just directly use these controls which are available at in the, on the interface itself. So now this was mainly about the uh, uh, the bottom toolbar which allows you to control the view here. Of course it, if there are more number of slides or more number of pages you get the option to uh, move from one slide to another slide. Uh, in this case I have only one slide so it, these options are disabled currently. On the right side, you will see that uh, this is another floating toolbar uh, which is available to you. This this functionality, uh, the very first option here, uh, it gives you different types of annotation tools. So suppose if you want to just add text or draw a line, circle, some different shapes that you want or you just want to use a pencil and draw something freehand. So these are the different options you have. Even it is uh, beneficial when while you are doing a uh, presentation, be, for example, if there is any corporate meeting going on and you want to highlight certain parts of your uh, uh, presentation to your uh, um, for your participants, so you can do that. So to, let me show you that. So I've selected the pencil option from there and suppose if I want to highlight this by whiteboard so I can highlight this. So this is what we are talking about currently. 
so on screen annotations and subtitles so these are the uh, highlighted features which we are discussing currently in this session so at the same time it gives you other options like uh, if you want to just type in some text over here okay. so you can just say that okay button open source so this is this is how you can add uh, some text as well at the same time it gives you the option to manage different font sizes you can reduce or increase the font sizes you can change the color of the uh, text and uh, the text color will change so the other option which you see over here is to undo the annotation so whichever the last annotation you have added if you want to remove it you can just click on it and it removes that annotation from your uh, on top of your presentation and uh, if you want to delete all the annotations at once you can do that as well so if you just click on the delete it deletes all the annotations as you saw um, so the last option which you see here is uh, turn multi-user whiteboard uh, on okay so for this part what i will do is i'll join in as a participant on a different tab so let's say david is going to join as a participant on this meeting So I can approve David as you can see he's asking me to approve and I have approved. So here also I'll be joining in using the listen mode only and what I can see here is uh, the same presentation which uh, uh, is being shared through the instructor or by the instructor and now I can I can also as a participant edit this uh, or annotate this presentation suppose if I want to draw some shapes I can draw some shapes here just to show you and the same shape will appear To the instructor so this is how uh, the collaboration can also happen over one of the presentation which has been uploaded and uh, if you want to have a group collaboration between your students or between your employees and ask them to provide their inputs or suggestions or ask them to solve some question and write the answer correctly so so there are different ways in which this uh, multi whiteboard functionality and multi user whiteboard functionality can be used so now this was done on uh, all all this was demonstrated on top of a presentation which had some content now if you want to completely utilize it uh, as a whiteboard the best way to do is uh, uh, you upload a blank PPT or a PDF. So let me show you how that works. So I already have got a, a PPT or PDF created, uh, which has got some 15 pages of uh, blank slides. And you just need to drag and drop it here and click on upload. So once you upload, it will do some do the processing, and then after that your uh, blank pdf will be or uh, blank ppt will be available to you if you want more space you can of course uh, minimize the participant section as well that gives that gives you a better view and even for your, uh, uh, your students it will have uh, a nicer um, appearance let's say so now this whiteboard can be utilized for your uh, annotation purpose so now whatever you want if you want to 
type in something while uh, teaching you can do that you can change the font size and then accordingly so since I have changed the color to orange now it will uh, if I'll type I'll it will uh, appear in orange so this is how you can type in whatever you want on a blank slide and utilize the power of uh, whiteboard functionality to its fullest so this was mainly about uh, uh, the whiteboard functionality which I wanted to cover it in this session so I hope uh, this information was uh, helpful we'll see you in the next session so that marks the end of this demo uh, for any relevant services please reach out to us at hello at the rate 3softech.com or you can directly visit our website www.3softech.com